hopefully you're okay. Perfect, right there. All right, welcome my friends. We are gonna start down on our back with some kind of just good old basic core Pilates move, making Joseph Pilates proud as we use some of his original sequencing work. So as you take a moment, come down to your back, hug your knees into your chest, oh, rock side to side, just for a couple of breaths. Uh, let's take a moment to breathe. Feels good. Nice. We'll bring our legs up into tabletop, just starting with a little isometric work here, flexing your feet, knees over your hips, pull the navel into the spine, feel that contraction through your core, but you're not pressing your low back in. So we're not pulling the knees in and pressing the low back down. We're just actively engaging through the core, reach the arms up. And we're gonna start just with our legs, extend the right leg and bring it in, left and bring it in. So we'll add on from here. And at any time that we add on, you can always stay in the previous move. So if you're feeling pretty good here, we'll add the opposite arm. So as the right leg goes, the left arm goes. And reach, start to feel the core, the navel area, activate a little bit more. Welcome, we are still rolling in. Welcome, Emily, keep it going right there. Just wanna catch everyone else that has joined us. Welcome, Emily. You might've been the only one that I missed in the beginning. Yay, right there. Now, if you're feeling really good here with the opposites, we can take both arms, both legs, straightening and bending. You'll feel more tension through your core as you take both arms, both legs, right there. Nice. We're gonna take one more little bump up to this as we extend, if you're extending both, we're gonna circle, opening the legs into a straddle arm circle, and then everything comes back in. So legs open as the arms circle, and everything back in. Now you can still be in single, you can still be just in your legs, or we are now taking this kind of full, full circle around. You got it, wherever you are, four more, four. Three, two, and one. And give yourself a quick little hug of your knees. We're going into our Pilates 100. You have some options on your legs. Your legs can be in tabletop, or you can extend your legs out long. Head, neck, and shoulders can stay on the ground, or I invite you to lift them up off the ground. Pump those hands, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, fifty, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, eighty, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, release, hug the knees, welcome, Sarah, welcome, Aaron, welcome, Darlene, take just a breath here, ah, oh. from here, we're going to take those legs, extend them out long in front of us, coming into our Pilates, roll up, so hands come be beside the legs, lift the head, tuck the chin, Begin to reach the hands towards your feet. Now, hands are down to use them if you need to as we roll all the way up to seated and reach for the toes and then roll down. Core is tucked in, right? It's that C curve, one vertebrae down. Arms at your side, roll up. Now, if arms at your side is pretty doable for you, we will take those arms back over our heads. So, reaching arms. Back by our ears, pull the navel into the spine, lift the head, neck, and shoulders, roll up from there. That lengthens that lever and makes it a little harder to roll up. A couple of more right here. Reach and roll and down. Good. Two more. Roll it up. 
reach, feel that little stretch, roll it down. Last one, roll it up, hold it up here, reach the arms to the side. We're gonna lift alternating legs. Left foot is flexed, alternate lift. So I'm not hinging forward, right? My chest is lifted and open. You got it, right here, nice. Hang on, lift and lower. We're gonna add our arms into this action. As we lift, we're gonna hug a knee into our chest, squeeze and up, squeeze and up. Good, right there, squeeze and reach, squeeze and reach, nice. You got it, you want a little bit more, you hinge back a little bit more and pull, pull up, more to pull up, right? So reach and pull reach and pull. If you're doing great right here, we can take this to double leg pull. So pulling both legs in at the same time, that suitcase crunch in and out, in and out with an option to lay it all the way down. So in and out, in and out. You got it right there, taking that full lift and lower. Hang on, wherever we are, four more, four, three, good, two, and one, raise it up, raise it up, raise it up, find your boat, release and hold, oh, my legs are screaming, four, three, two, one, roll it down, hollow body, hold right here, four, three, two, one, one hand's come behind your head, legs into tabletop. We're taking it into bicycles, side to side. It is all about the abs right here, my friends. Side to side, you got it. So we're trying to pull shoulder across to knee. Now these can be done seated. Right? So you can always be more in the seated position if you prefer, welcome Megan. And you can crunch shoulder to knee here in seated or down on your back. You look awesome, Molly. That's it, Betsy, Kristen, Katie. Ah, oh, you're so strong. Hang on, my friends. Amy G, Karina, you got it. Jamie, Kelly, Allie. Ah, oh, come on till I get through everybody's name. Keep going. Emily, you got it. Sarah, Aaron, Darlene, Megan, Amy, Christine, Anne Marie. Hug those knees into your chest. We're just gonna a little brief. Brief moment breaks. And then bring the legs back up into tabletop. We're going into our windshield wipers. Arms come out into a T. Knees are right over your hips, so knees are not touching. Inhale on our exhale, lower. And lift to come up. I think I told you that wrong. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift to pull the legs up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, pull the legs back center. As the legs drop left, you press into the right shoulder. And as the legs drop right, you press into the left shoulder. Now, you know we're gonna add to this, if you choose, when the knees come bent down to the right, pause, straighten the legs, bend the legs, pull in center. Take them to the left, straighten, bend, and center. So you can stay right where they stay straight the whole time. And we'll do a few reps here, adding a straightening. Side to side, back center. And then if you like, you can take them straight the whole time. So straight legs on the way down, straight legs on the way up. That adds a little bit more intensity to pull back up side to side. We've got about 10 seconds right here. And we're gonna come into some side oblique crunches. In three, two, and one. Bend the knees back into tabletop. Let the knees fall to the right, but the chest stays towards the ceiling. Fingertips come behind the head 
and we crunch chest to ceiling with the legs to the right. So you're getting the abdominal crunch, but through the left oblique. Try to keep the elbows back. Try not to squeeze them in near your face and let your head gently rest in your hands. You got one minute on each side. This whole first half of class is very strong core focused. We are gonna bring a little bit of quads in in a moment with our leg lifting. Hang on right here, 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Legs come back up center and over to the left. Chest stays open, crunch the other side. Try to allow your head to relax into your hands. So second half of class, we'll get a little more work into the back side of the body. Starting with some glute bridges, variations, supermans. So we're kind of working front and back today. You got it right here, 30 seconds to go. Nice. Punch it out. Final 10. Lift, lift, lift. It's five, four, three, two, and one. Come on to the back. Knees bend, feet on the floor. We're coming into our leg lifts, head, neck, and shoulders. Start on the ground. You'll have an option to lift if you like. Extend your right leg out long, point it up, flex it down. We start fairly easy, right? Not too bad here. Left knee is bent. Now, there's three different positions the leg can be in, the left leg, and there's two different positions the upper body can be in. So we can stay right here, knee bent, head down. You could keep the knee bent and lift the head, neck, and shoulders. You can also head down with the left leg straight or head up with the left leg straight or hover the left leg head up or down. So there's lots of ways to kind of add to the intensity of this. You choose where you are. You've got 15 seconds to go this move. And at any time you can change the position of the opposite leg, the head, neck, shoulders, because we're here for a couple of more moves. Three, two, and one, we're gonna make that U shape. Foot stays flex, bring it up, slide it out, bring it up, slide it in, lift and slide. So I guess it's not really a U, it's more like a square U. So part of a square. So an L with one extra lift on it. You got it right here. Oh, I have decided just to let my head, neck, and shoulders rest on the ground. And my left knee is bent, my friends, and I am still feeling this like crazy in the leg. When you straighten the left leg or lift your upper body, you are going to bring more into your core. You got it right here, just eight seconds. We got one more move on this side. Nice. Three, two, and one. We're going to take circles one direction. So it's like you're drawing a little circle with your heel. Circle each way. You got it right there. So circling doesn't matter if you're going in or out because we will take those circles both directions. We'll repeat all this on the other leg and then it will be break time. You got five seconds to go right here. We're gonna switch directions in two and one. Switch your leg circle directions. Remember left leg, knee can be bent straight. It can be hovering. Upper body can be up or down. Oh, if you've done a lot of leg work this morning, right, you might want to just kind of relax your body, just working right there into your leg. We've got 10 seconds. My quad is screaming. I know Katie's here. She did cycle this morning with me. Oh, feeling those legs. Three, two, and one, switch that out. Here we go, left leg pointed up, flex it down, three minutes till break. Same options, leg can be knee bent, leg straight, or hover. 
And any of those can be paired with head, neck, and shoulders on the ground or lifted. I like to sometimes keep right leg bent, but lift my upper body. That does activate my abs a little bit without pushing me too far. You could even take your hands and rest them behind your head. You got it right here, 15 seconds. And we go into that boxy U shape. Lift and lower. Hang on to it. Three, two, and one. Foot is flexed. Lift, slide it over like that L, but lift it up on the other side. So a little boxy U shape right there. You got it, my friends. We do get a break at the end of this. And then we'll be switching more to the back side of our body. Hang on to it. You know, it's all about the quad. Woo! If you're like me, you can shake it out. You can take a little bit of a break. Oh my goodness. I did not realize my quads were so fatigued until I started started this. If you've done a lot of bar classes this week uh, or the last several days, you might really be feeling that. Here we go. 10 seconds until circles. 10 seconds until circles. You've got it. Five, four, three, two, circle one direction. Heel stays flexed. We got 60 seconds until break. I have to get quiet here for a moment Whew. to do this work with you. We've got it right here, 10 seconds this side. Circling. Three, two, switch the direction you're circling. 30 seconds. Focus on your breath. If you're like me, if you need to take a break every five seconds, it's like work for five seconds, off for one second. That is totally fine. Whatever it takes you to get through it. You all are amazing. We've got this in eight, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, hug the knees into the chest. Here's your break time. Oh my goodness, Katie, please tell me that was not just me that was dying in on those <laughs> after cycling this morning. Oh, and I know some of you did other classes as well. All right, come on up, grab a drink. We are past halfway. So the second part of class will be a little shorter. We're gonna come down onto our belly and do quite a bit of work um, on our belly and then we'll finish with some glutes, but just to give ourselves a little posture break here. If lying on your belly is not your thing, doesn't work for you, my friends, much of what we do, you can do on a kneeling position and do just one side at a time, and then we will switch sides. So we're going to start with just the basic Superman. So if you're taking this kneeling position, you can straight arm, straight leg, kind of opposite of where we started on our back or down on the belly. We can start with up, you know, one side. So right arm, left leg and switch. And we'll just kind of bump this up. If you're all the way down on your belly, try to let your nose hover right above the ground so that your neck is in neutral. If you do need to look to see what's going on, it's best if you can look to the side rather than cranking your head up. Now, if you're good here, single side, we can take both arms, both legs, lift and lower that basic Superman. Lift and lower, lift and lower. So start with the entire back of the body. And of course we will get a little more focus on the glutes and hands when we come to some bridge work. Lift and lower. Hang on, you got it right here. We're going to take it into kind of a breaststroke swim. Three, two, 
one. So as we lift, we're gonna kind of reach our arms out, reach our arms out. It's not so much our legs, kind of our upper body. I'm kind of straddling my legs a little bit just because they naturally kind of want to open as I circle my arms. Now, if I'm doing this on all fours, right, I can just be doing one side, one side. I'm so sorry if you were, and I will tell you when to switch on this one. I was going to say, I didn't tell you last time, but you didn't need to. You were just alternating. Keep going. I will tell you that halfway point. If you're on one side, just checking out messages. Uh, yeah, if you've got your my zone on and it's on your chest, it might it might flip off uh, when you're laying. I personally, my heart rate does not get very high in Matt Pilates. All right, switch sides if you're doing just one side. So I get very few points in Matt Pilates, which is totally okay, right? It's not it's not a super high cardio class, but that doesn't mean that it's not super valuable, which it is. All right, hang on right here. Nice. Those legs are moving just a little bit, but we're really moving the arms. 10 seconds to go. And then we're gonna come onto our back for some more intense glutes. So we didn't do a lot of like arm work today or inner outer thigh. It was kind of shoulders to shorts down the front of the body. Three, two, and one. You can press yourself up onto our back for our glute bridges. Matt Pilates, you know we're probably going to be down on the floor, but if you are tired of laying on your back, being on the floor, you can always come up and do some squats and lunges, which are going to be great leg and glute work. All right, palms at your side. Pull your navel into your spine. Squeeze your glutes. Start with that basic. Just lift and lower. Now, what you want to think about is that you're staying actively engaged in the navel, right? So navel is pulled to spine and glutes stay squeezed, right? They're contracted. So that as you lower, it's kind of your low back, your sacrum that taps down, not your glutes. Your glutes never really tap down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. A few more here and then we're gonna hold it up there in five, four, three, two, and hold it up there. Flex the feet, come onto your heels. We're taking that walk out. Right foot comes out, left foot comes out. Right comes in, left comes in. Let's switch it out, left, right, in left, in right. Switch out right, out left, in right, in left. You got it right here, marching it in. And out, trying to squeeze the glutes up as high as you can. A little bit more hamstring activation here. Go out and in. I will save us a couple of minutes at the end. We'll get some push up variations so that we do get at least a little bit of arm work. And of course, we got a little when we were doing our Supermans. Here we go. Five. Four, three, two, and one. We'll do our butterfly. So come down, knees open out into the butterfly. Feet are a couple of inches apart. So bottoms of the feet a little bit apart. We're going to lift the glutes, squeeze the inner thighs, bottoms of the feet roll to the ground, lower down. Now lift up here, open the knees, lower down. So we're doing this little butterfly circle, lift, Squeeze and lower, lift, open and lower right there. So we're getting all through the hips. You got it. Keep it going, my friends. If you do need some stretching in your life, we do have our Stretch Express coming up after this class. And as you're finishing up these, just want to remind everybody, GSD, God Slice Dreams, coming up if you want to take a deeper dive kind of into yourself. Uh, Rochelle and Janelle lead that program about setting goals and just digging a little deeper. And then also our fun V-Fit Yango game. Both of those start October the 1st. Here you go. We've got five seconds. And we'll finish with a couple of little push-up variations 
to get a little upper body. Three, two, and one. So come on over, knees, toes, or feel free to come up to the wall. Find your plank. We're just gonna start with a basic push-up. We only have about two minutes of some push-up plank variations. Here we go, take it down and up, down and up. Knees are fine. Arms are maybe just outside the shoulders. So it's a basic push-up. Entire upper body. We're just gonna do a couple of different variations here. We need about 10 more seconds on these. We're gonna go into the diamond push-up which is either in a down dog position where we'll take head to diamond or on your knees, heart to diamond. Here we go. So if you're doing heart to diamond, make a little bit of a diamond with your hands. If you're on your knees, we're just diving our heart down and pushing up. If you wanna come up to down dog position, then it's gonna be the crown of the head dives down and pushes up. Just changes which muscle group in your arms is kind of working. You might feel that a little bit more coming into the triceps as you have to press yourself up. Yeah, you got it right here. Hang on to it. We are so, so close. Nice job. And we're gonna finish out. We got about 10 seconds right here and then we're gonna finish out with some extra wide push-ups, which is really gonna come into the chest in three, two, and one. So take those hands out wide of the chest lower and push up. So this would be like if you were on your back doing a chest press, hands are wide. And you can really almost lower all the way down where the nose kisses the floor and press up. Knees, toes are against the wall. You can feel that a little bit more into the biceps and in over the shoulder, the deltoid, into the chest muscles. You got it right here, my friends. About 10 seconds to go. And then we get about two-ish minutes to stretch things out in five, four, three, two, and one. Right there, press back into child's pose. Stretch the arms that we finished with. Oh. And of course, stretch express next. If you want longer, more stretching. And we'll get a little stretch right here. Really feel that pull right in the shoulder joint. And we'll come on up onto our knees for a modified or full camel. Bring your hands kind of onto your low back, squeeze the glutes, press the hips forward. It's not so much about dropping the head back, you know, lengthening through the torso. Pull the elbows, squeeze the glutes to protect the low back. I also take my thumbs and kind of press them right into my low back for support. Feel that all the way down to the bottom of your quads. If you want it a little more, that's where you could reach for your heels and take full camel. It's just gonna deepen the stretch. Two more breaths wherever you are. And then if your hands are on your feet, bring your thumbs back up, pull the navel into the spine. We'll have a seat, extend the legs long in front of us and take the opposite stretching through the whole back of the body. As you walk your hands towards your feet, take your time. Maybe you reach your feet, your toes, maybe your shins. And lengthen. Allow your breath to ease a bit. Take your chin, tuck it a little more towards your chest. Just adds a nice extra little bit of stretch down the neck, down the sides of the spine. If you're like me and you're tight through the back of your body, that little tuck of your chin might add to that intensity of the stretch all the way down 
to your heels. Take about two more breaths here. We are out of time. Uh, slowly make your way up. Oh, thank you all so much for joining me. That was a little bit of stretching, a whole lot of conditioning. If you've got time for a little more stretch, come on back. Stretch Express in five minutes, my friends. I'll see you in just a sec.